In this video, Timmy's going to show you how software updates work on a Chromebook. Timmy will show you how you can install them and how you can manually check for new updates if you want to. On any device, it's important to keep the software as up to date as possible because updates will often fix bugs, so little things that aren't working quite right. And they'll fix security issues as well to make sure your device is secure. And it'll make sure your device still works well with modern apps and other modern devices. And as an added bonus, updates will sometimes give you new features or more modern looking interface and stuff like that. So you really want to install updates whenever it's available. And fortunately, software updates on Chrome OS are generally pretty easy to install. Normally, as long as your Chromebook is turned on and connected to Wi-Fi, your Chromebook will automatically check for new updates every so often. And if it finds a new update available, it will automatically download the update and start automatically installing it for you without you having to do anything or even noticing it's doing it. But in order to finish installing the update, you will need to restart the Chromebook. So after it's finished starting to install the update, it will give you a notification telling you there's a new update available and you need to restart it to finish installing the update. So to keep your Chromebook up to date, all you really need to do is look out for a notification in your notifications that says update this device and has this little button restart to update. So this notification might pop up or you might see it in your notifications here, or you might see it, this little update icon down on the bottom bar here. That also means there's an update available. And whenever you get this notification and you see it here, all you really need to do is click on restart to update here. So you wanna make sure anything's saved. So most things these days will usually save themselves. If you're working in Google Docs and things, it should all be fine. But if you're editing a photo on a website or something, you might just want to make sure you save that photo first and things like that. And then once you're ready to restart to update, you'll come in here and click restart to update. And now your Chromebook will basically turn itself off and then turn back on again. It does this really quickly. It's basically the same amount of time it would take to turn your Chromebook off and turn it back on. So you shouldn't have to wait too long. Timmy's Chromebook is already turning back on now. And now the login screen has reappeared here and the Chromebook is updated. So you'll just type in your password to log back, log back into your account. And then it'll take you back in and now the Chromebook is updated. So you might want to restore your apps to reopen all the apps you previously had open. And sometimes if the update brings you new features and stuff, there might be a little window that pops up telling you a bit about the new update and some new features you now have. So you can read through that if you want just to see what's new, but there's nothing you really need to do there. You can just close that window. And now you're done. Your Chromebook has now been updated. So you can just open up any other app you want and continue using your Chromebook. And you know it's now got the latest updates. So normally that's really all you need to do. You just wait for that update notification to come in and then go ahead and click restart to update and wait for it to turn back on and sign back in. But these notifications don't always come in immediately as soon as the update is available. So if for some reason you want to make sure your Chromebook definitely has the latest software or you really want to install the latest update as soon as it's available, there is a way you can manually check for new updates right now. To do this, you'll need to open up the settings app. So the best way to do that is really to click on the time down here and then click this little settings icon in this menu here. And now you'll be in the settings app. And then you'll need to come over to the left hand menu here and scroll down to the bottom of that menu and click on about Chrome OS down here. And now here 
you'll see your Chromebooks version here. So that's the software version it's on. The versions are long numbers with the dots in them. You're probably not going to know what that means. But if you wanted to Google what the latest version of Chrome OS is, you could Google that and then read that number, and then you'd know if it's up to date. But sometimes some devices won't get the latest updates immediately. So you might not always have this number extremely up to date, but you should hopefully have that fairly up to date there. But if you want to check if there's a new update that you can install on your Chromebook, you can come over here and click check for updates here. And now it will check for a new update. And if it doesn't find any new updates, it might just say something like your device is up to date or no new updates. But if it does find a new update you can install, it will immediately begin installing the update. So as we can see, Timmy's Chromebook actually did find a new update. So it says updating your device, 17%, now 18%, 19%. So you just have to wait for it to finish with the updating progress here. And then once it gets to the end of that, it'll have the restart option once again. So then you'll be able to click that button and restart the Chromebook. And then you'll have this latest update. So we'll just wait for it to finish here and be ready to restart. Normally, if you just let it do its thing by itself, it would do this in the background. So you wouldn't even know it's doing this. You'd just be doing something else on your Chromebook while this is happening. And then it will tell you when it's ready to restart. But because we clicked check for updates, we can actually see the progress in the settings app here. So we'll just wait for that to finish. It's up to 46% now. So it really goes pretty quickly. And now, as we can see, we have the notification restart to update, just like before. So you could go ahead and click that button and in your Chromebook will restart and then you'll have the new update. Or you can also look in the settings app here because we already have this page open. It says newly up to date, restart your device to finish updating. And then you can click the restart button here. So either way, doesn't really matter. Click any button you want. So to me, we'll just click restart here. And now it will restart the Chromebook. So it'll turn off and turn back on again pretty quickly. And then we'll just log back into it and we'll have the new update. So Timmy's Chromebook is already turning back on now. So we'll just wait for that to pop up. And we now have the login screen here. So we can just go ahead and log back into the Chromebook. And now you'll be back into the Chromebook and you might want to click restore here to reopen the apps you had open before you restarted. But now your Chromebook will be restarted with the new update. So that's what it's like if you want to manually check for a new update and install it. And to me, I'll just show you once again, if we go back into the settings app here and we go back down to about Chrome OS, and we come here. Now it says there's a new version here. We're now using this new version. And now if we click check for updates here, it'll check for updates and it will just say your Chromebook is up to date. And sometimes now when you come into the settings app, you might actually not see a check for updates button. It might look exactly like this. And that just means your Chromebook has automatically checked for updates very recently. So it knows there's no point in you clicking a check for update button because it's already checked it for you very recently. So if it's checked it for you very recently, it might just say that. But if it hasn't checked overly recently, you might be able to click the check for new updates button and then manually make it check for new updates. But that's all there is to it. That's all you have to do to keep your Chromebook up to date. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you in another one soon.